What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to talk about some new cards that were announced in the Number Hunters collection. Uh, for these, there are two new XC monsters, they're both for the Butterfly art type that was that, you know, Butterfly Sansons or Palopil Operative, if you'd rather call them that, which, that name change just kills me. That's just one of those Konami things I just don't get on the name changes. Uh, let's see, for this one though, let's talk about the first one we have, Knight. Pelopel Operative. This is a uh, rank 4 monster. It's dark. It has 2,600 attack, 2,000 defense. It requires 3 level 4 monsters to XC summon into it. And uh, once per turn, you can detach 1 XC material from this card. This card gains 300 attack for each XC material attached to monsters on the field. Basically, all the other, you know, if there's more XC monsters on the field that have their materials, this card becomes a lot stronger. Uh, the negative about this card, well, it requires 3 monsters. That's to me, that kind of kills this card, honestly. If it required two monsters, or if it had to be like the the butterfly monsters to exceed into it, and there were you know just two of them to exceed into it, this card would have been a lot better. It requiring three monsters, though, in my opinion, kind of kills it. Although most decks out there can you know have a lot of XC monsters out in the field and even easily bring this card out you know vice versa you know whether you're going against something that swarms the field with XCs or you know you have something you know so you can bring this card out. Uh, even if your opponent does have a lot of sea monsters, using three monsters to bring out this card just really just isn't useful. I mean, there's just better options out there. There's uh, Shockmaster, Violin to Sigma, you know, uh, Shark Drake. There's just, I feel like, a lot better options out there than using this card, unfortunately. You know, but I hate to say this card's not really that good, but it just really isn't. But I like the art design, and yeah, I still think it's a cool card, but it's just not that usable, in my opinion. Next card, though, is actually pretty awesome. It is Photon Alexandra Queen. This is a light monster. It is, uh, let's see, it's rank 4. It has 2,400 attack, 1,200 defense. It requires two level 4 Butter Spy monsters to see into it. We have a few of those already out, and I believe they're getting a few more in the Number Hunter set as well, like effect monster versions to bring this card out a little easier. Uh, here's the effect of it. You can attach one Eximitar from this card, return all monsters on the field to the hand, then each player takes 300 damage for each of their monsters returned. So yeah, this card is freaking scary, honestly. Uh, yeah, you can just return all monsters on the field to the hand. Uh, that can change up things quickly. I mean, this card, if it's a good thing, I guess, that it requires Butterfly Monsters to bring it out, because this card would be easily, easily broken and ran in every extra deck out there. A uh, great card, though. This makes me actually want to try to run some kind of Butter Spy deck. I might actually do it. After this uh, set comes out, I will probably do that because all the cards are really easy to get, honestly, for that. I mean, the highest rarity was a rare, you know, for Photon Pillar Pearl Operative. Uh, so, yeah, what do you guys think about these cards, though? The first one is kind of eh. The second one, though, is pretty dang awesome. The art, too, is freaking amazing for this card. I like it. I really like this card. And uh, I can't wait to see. Maybe Butter Spies will actually be an interesting deck to use. Maybe not meta, but at least something fun, and something maybe will come across, you know, on Dueling Network and stuff to be fun to go against and actually to use, too. So I want to know what you guys think about these two cards. If you're excited about them, if you're not, you think they're cool, whether it be artwork or effect, and uh, whether you plan to run either of these cards. So yeah, and uh, we'll have a link to them in the description, and it, also I'm using YouTube forms for this, so if you want to sign up there and uh, post, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff up there, too, that would help out, so be sure to do that. That'd be awesome. And, uh, yeah, remember to come right and subscribe, and if there's any other cards with them coming out, number 100 set, you know, whatever set it's coming out of, uh, and you want me to talk about it, of course, tell me in the comments, and I'll try to talk about it as soon as possible. Alright, so yeah, later guys.